fellow bookworms, let's read the book Piper and Purpa Forever, written by Susan Lendroth and illustrated by Miss Olivia Fang. Piper loves Purpa, her favorite purple sweater, and wears it everywhere. What do you think happens when she outgrows her sweater? Shall we find out? Let's read the book. Piper loved her purple sweater. She loved it even before she could pronounce the word purple. Purple! She shouted when she pulled it out of a box of hand-me-downs from her cousin. So that's what everyone called it. The first time Piper wore purple, it hung below her knees. She wore purple to the park and to birthday parties and as a cape for dress up. I'm a fairy! I'm a beetle! I'm a grape! Piper and Purple went trick-or-treating together for three Halloweens in a row. <laughs> Every year, Piper's mother measured her against her bedroom door. Piper's marks climbed higher as she grew taller. But the sweater no longer reached halfway to Piper's knees, or her hips, or even her belly button unless she tucked down really hard. Piper's family shook their heads at how small the sweater was on Piper. Her father added Purpa to a box of outgrown clothes for the school rummage sale. He promised to replace it with a new sweater. Piper turned it down and rescued Purpa from the box. Her aunt offered to unravel the sweater and used the yarn to knit a beautiful winter hat. Piper said no. Her grandfather asked, do you want to wash my car with me? Piper nodded eagerly. We can use that old sweater to polish it. No! Piper ran from the room, holding Purpa tight. She can't wear it forever, her mother said with a shrug. The next time Piper tried to put Purpa on, she had to squeeze her head through the neck. She struggled to poke one hand and then the other through the tight sleeves. Piper pulled the sweater down as far as it would go. It still fits, she gasped. Taking Piper off after school was much harder. Piper tugged at the sleeves, but her arms got stuck. She stretched the neck but Purpa caught on her nose. Ouch. Piper tumbled to the floor, twisting and turning and wriggling and rolling with Purpa until she finally peeled off the sweater and threw it in the corner. But what about the next time she wore it? That night, Piper's father came home with a gift. I thought you might like a new friend, he said. I love it, Piper cried, hugging the koala. Thank you. I remember when you were that size, her mother said, and Purple was big on you. Piper looked at Purple and then at her koala. She measured the koala against the marks on the frame. His head brushed a line drawn when Piper was two years old. I've got an idea, she whispered in the koala's ear. For show and tell the next day, 
Piper carried a large bag to school. When her turn came, Piper pulled out her new friend. My dad brought me a surprise last night, she said. I've named him Prippa. The end. Did you enjoy the story and were you able to read along? Awesome! Look for Piper and Purple Forever and many other fun books like it at your local library. And check out the description below to learn more. Subscribe to our Read Along Book Club channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any future video uploads. Until next time!